Welcome to the YouTube channel, Slice of Love. As you know, this is a beautiful, beautiful slice this, uh, this, this week because now we are after the new year, okay? We're in January 20, uh, 2010. <laughs> you remember last week we were looking forward to the new year coming. Okay, it's here. Let's see what happened. It says, good morning, my sweetness. I'm sitting in the guest bedroom window wide open, listening to the radio, the waterfalls and being watched by the ocean in front. I write with complete exhaustion. Our cleaning lady, Sandra, left us. <laughs> I cleaned the floors today. I did the laundry. I am planning to reorganize the terrace space in the ocean. I'm so happy we've agreed with my proposed changes. We will enjoy our martinis on our bistro table and bar stools. Wow, I cannot wait. I'm also heavy hearted. Your surgery on Wednesday and um, my new company's vacillation with the uh, Connecticut bid that we already won. I think they will put out after all, they will pull out after all, and that's horrible. Uh, so what I did uh, for certain, uh, a certain company was I looked, uh, I, was, I was their external affairs and uh, business development manager countrywide. So what I did was I would look for opportunities for this company to sell to the government. And I would look all the time, every day for, um, you know, in different states, uh, what, what kind of things the government of those states was buying. And so this company got a huge contract with Connecticut. But, um, you know, government work was really not their gig. It was always private. And so they were vacillating. They were not sure how it worked. They won the damn thing, okay? But whatever. Let's just leave it at that. Well, anyway, I won't jump the gun. I'm not going to worry about something that has not occurred yet. It was nice that Simone and Margie came over last night. We had a beautiful time, and I know you love the attention because, you know, he was going to get surgery, so he loves attention. You deserve all the attention, and you are a wonderful man and a terrific friend and a super fantastic husband. So God bless you, Papa. Okay? And then, later that day, I said, Sweetness, you gave us quite the scare today. Your heart freaked out at the mere thought that you were getting your bladder stone removed. So he, he, he was too much. I mean, he... He was a very delicate man. His health was not that good. But man, did I keep great records for him. So every single time that we went to the doctor, I would have all his medicines written down, all the doctors, all the tests that he has done, all the results, all of this. It was literally a full-time endeavor here. And so that's why at some point I had to stop working altogether because he, he needed he needed to care and he needed time and he needed me to be driving him to different doctors and I was just not going to have peace of mind knowing he was going to miss something or someone else wasn't going to take him. So I had to be the one. And so for years and years and years, he was my mission. I was on task on him daily. No matter what happened, I would be with him. And that is what a husband and wife should do but but the thing is not everybody is able to do it because you have other responsibilities and you have kids and you have parents and everything else in between i know it's not easy okay but i was fortunate enough that we had the resource of the means to be able to put a full stop on my employment so i can be with my beautiful husband 24 hours a day but listen that's a, that's a big job because there is no break. There's no coffee break. There's no vacation day. There's nothing. It's just caring. And I loved every minute of it, let me just tell you right now. But it's, it's heavy. And this is why I'm doing this thing, this, this slice of love. I want to segment all of those moments and share them with you because I know you're going through the same thing. I know you are. We all are. Okay? So... You know, maybe these times that you look at this channel, you kind of see that you're not alone in this pickle, okay? All right, so till, till next time, okay, when we get together again and do another slice. 
this yummy love. We have to celebrate it, eat it, enjoy it. Till then. <laughs>